27-year-old Leilani Jordan is yet another way too young life lost to coronavirus. Leilani was one of the many unsung heroes out there that we don't talk enough about. She was a clerk at her local supermarket, and she was devoted to helping those in need. Leilani's mother, Zenobia Shepard, and her stepfather, Charles, join us now. Uh, guys, we're so sorry for your loss. 27 years old, this isn't supposed to happen. And, and particularly because Leilani, whom I know you call Butterfly, um, she just wanted to go to work. She wanted to go to work and help people. And so, uh, Zenobia, tell us, tell us what was happening in the last month and why she felt so strongly about going to her shift as a clerk at, at the supermarket. <clears throat> um. My name is Zenobia, um, Z-E-N-O-B-I-A. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. She um, would just go to work, and every day she would she would text me, Mom, no one is showing up. No one's here to help the elderly. Um, Mom, it's just crazy here at work, you know, but somebody's got to do it, you know, and, and she's my warrior. Because she'll help anybody. She'll help anybody. It, she doesn't judge anyone. And so she she says, Mom, there's no mask here. There's no gloves. There's no hand sanitizer. She's like, Mom, you know, I've got to help them. I've got to help the older people. And so she was doing everything from helping them put their groceries in, 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 their, in, in their walkers to, you know, helping them get into lifts all the way to helping them go to the bathroom. Mm. And you know, and you know, and she's 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 got cerebral palsy herself. So she was extremely vulnerable. She was working under a disabled program. And that program, you know, along with the seniors, <clears throat> didn't protect the vulnerability of the individual workers at the lower at the lower end of the scope. Oh. And, um, and, and oh, why not? I mean, wh why didn't they have hand sanitizer and masks? I have no idea. I have no idea. No idea. They had, once I, re I, once I called them on the 26th and told them that Leilani was confirmed with the COVID virus, that was the next day the employees, several of, Le several of Leilani's friends, text and called her phone and said, we finally have, now we finally have masks and gloves, or well, I, I don't know if they didn't have enough of them. I don't know if it was scarce resources. I don't know, but that's such a small price to pay. Leilani's, they, they gave me Leilani's paycheck the other day and Leilani's paycheck was $20.54. Oh so goodness. is she clear? Oh she clearly worked from the heart. She wasn't yeah. working she, for I, money. Yeah. I mean, from what you've said, she just felt that the elderly, those hours when they opened the store for the elderly to come in, the elderly needs support. They needed help. I mean, you just spelled it out how much she was doing for them. And and the the idea that she was left unprotected and how quickly how quickly she declined yes. once she got sick. Yes. Yes. It 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 just went through her body. So fast, by the time she got to the hospital, she she fell out and was unconscious and put into ICU. Mm. And, and the next thing I know, she was intubated. She, you know, she coded in my arms. She had a cardiac arrest. My husband and I both were in the room, you know, and and it was I was able to hold my baby's hands for the last time, and I was able to. Hold her feet. It's my baby. It's like a hole in my heart. It's like a hole in my heart because all she wanted to do was just help people. She just wanted to help. She wanted to help and make a difference. She wanted to be there to help and work for twenty dollars. Management leadership needed to kick in and help make sure those that are vulnerable, seniors, other people, have the help and assistance that they need so they're not put into situations to where they can lose their lives. You can't see COVID virus. You can't see COVID-19. You don't know where it's at. You don't know when it's gonna hit. You don't know if distancing is gonna help. 
You don't know where it's at, but you better believe it's in the bathroom. Yeah, um, we we hear you. I mean, th this was sh this was too high of a price to pay for her just wanting to help people.